If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. That we may delight in your way and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. I strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our hearts shall open your praise. praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Amen. Let us adore him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin, alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ is raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. Who since by a man came death, by a man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Psalm 16 and 17, beginning on page 599. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, my good above all others. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. For those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O oh Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries is close a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope, for you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your holy one see the dead. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give me to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night. Let me down, you will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps fall fast to the ways of your law. In your path, my feet shall not stumble. I will call upon you, O God. You will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness, O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand, and of those who rise up against you. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who assault me, from the deadly enemies who surround me, 
they have closed their hearts to you, and their mouth speaks foul things. They press me hard, now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion greedy for its prey, and like a lion who sit in places. Arise, O Lord, come from them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked of their soul. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand. From those whose portion in life is this world, whose bellies is filled with your treasure, who are well supplied with children, and leave their wealth to their little ones. But on my vacation I shall see your face. When I awake, I shall be satisfied. Behold your likeness. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Daniel, chapter 3. King Nebuchadnezzar made a golden statue whose height was 60 cubits and whose width was 6 cubits. He set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then King Nebuchadnezzar sent for the satraps, the prefects, and the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates and all the officials of the province to assemble and come to the dedication of the statue that the kingdom Kadeza had set up. So the satraps, the prefects and governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates and all the officials of the province assembled for the dedication of the statue that kingdom Kadeza had set up. When they were standing before the statue that Nebuchadnezzar had set up, the herald proclaimed aloud, You are commanded, O peoples, nations, and languages, that when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and the entire musical ensemble, you are to fall down and worship the golden statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship shall immediately be thrown into the furnace of blazing fire. Therefore, as soon as all the peoples heard the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and the entire musical ensemble, all the people and nations and languages fell down and worshipped the golden statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Accordingly, at this time, certain Chaldeans came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. You, O king, have made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, and drum, and the entire musical ensemble shall fall down and worship the golden statue. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be thrown in the furnace of blazing fire. There are certain Jews whom you have appointed over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They pay no heed to you, O king. They do not serve your gods, and they do not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in furious rage, commanded that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought in. So they brought those men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods, and you do not worship the golden statue that I have set up? Now if you are ready, when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, and drum, the entire musical ensemble, to fall down and worship the statue that I have made, well and good. But if you do not worship, you shall immediately be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire. And who is the God that will deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to present a defense to you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire, and out of your hand, O king, let him deliver us. But if not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods, and we will not worship the golden statue that you have set. The word of the Lord. Thank 
Canticle 10. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will reach you farther. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again by water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth, and it will not return to me empty, but will accomplish that which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I send it. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 3. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptized you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to, unstuck, to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations, he proclaimed the good news to the people. But Herod the ruler, who had been rebuked by him because of Herodias, his brother's wife, and because of all the evil things that Herod had done, added to them all by shutting up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized, was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. The Word of the Lord. Article 18 Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and have thy will that will create it and have their being, and yours by right for them that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, the kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever, forevermore. I will be the God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, of our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered from Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of our lives. The Lord be with you. Hello. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. With righteousness. 
the peace all over in all the world. Only in you can we live safely. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. To save the health of all nations. Let no enemy, be, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Spirit. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today we lift up verses of Shinyanga in Tanzania. Now this is in prayer cycle. We pray for Emmanuel in Ripley and vocation to holy orders and seminarians. Mighty God, we will be raised up your servant Anselm to teach the church to, to the, of this day to understand its faith in your eternal being, perfect justice, and saving mercy. Provide your church in every age with devout and learned scholars and teachers so we may be able to give the reason for the hope that is in us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We lift up one holy Catholic and apostolic church. She may be one and protected by your Holy Spirit. We pray for the Episcopal Church, presiding Bishop Michael Carey, the Diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Phoebe, Canon Sharon, Diocese and Leadership. We pray for our own parish, St. Andrews, who continue to lead us and Bless our prayer, work, and study, our inreach and our outreach, and our partners. Pray for the Haiti mission. We pray for Tiso B. We pray for members of our own congregation here at St. Andrews. We pray that you continue to bless our lives, our <coughs> families. We pray, O oh Lord, that we would grow closer to you, deeper into knowing more about repentance and conversion. May we have a time with you. May we hear you walking in and out or always into our lives and in our church. We pray for those amongst us who are sick, those on our prayer list. We pray for your healing hand to be extended to them, that they will be touched by you, that your Holy Spirit will bring a warmth feeling inside their hearts that they know that God has touched them to them. We thank you, Father, for the many in our congregation who are experiencing anxiety for different reasons. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will relieve that pressure, that, O oh Lord, you would fix whatever is awry. And I pray, O oh Lord, that you continue to be in their lives. Show them the way. Show them your your suffering, O oh Lord, that uh, you may know that you are never far from them. We pray for those who are mourning, especially John Christian's family. We pray that, Lord, you be closer to them, comfort them. We pray for emergency staff, for doctors and nurses, police officers and firefighters. May they grow closer to you. May they be protected in their work. Add in the sessions of Thanksgiving.
Mighty God, Father of all mercies, we unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, through the means of grace, through the hope of glory. And we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts may you show forth your praise not only in violence but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through jesus christ our lord to whom with you and the holy spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages amen let us bless the lord Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.